Hi friends! Today I am going to show you and your families a scrubbing lesson. Now most of the kids out there are going to be familiar with this lesson from the classroom. This is our scrubbing lesson and I'm going to give it to you guys today and uh, I'm going to take a little bit longer with it and explain to your families why we're doing what we're doing and the materials that they need so that you guys can begin to do this work at home as well. So scrubbing is a wonderful practical life lesson that we do almost daily in the classroom. Children really love real life activities. Um, they love to mimic adults and that kind of work gives them a sense of purpose um, as they do it. It also exercises great muscles in the kids hands that they don't always get to exercise. Uh, and this development of these muscles is what's going to prepare your child's muscles for writing. Okay. All right, let's have a scrubbing lesson. So before we begin, I want to show you um, all of the materials that you will need in your house to um, do this work. Okay, so let's see what we have. Nice dry rag here. A beautiful glass pitcher. And a small tray here that has a scrub brush. You guys can use a nail brush for this or a produce brush is fine. Uh, a bar of soap on a tray. And then we also have another tray here that has a clean sponge on it. And you're going to want a plastic container of some kind that the child can carry um, that all of this will fit in and this will also be used to store water in. Okay. All right, the first thing we need for this lesson is some warm water. Hopefully in your house you have a step stool either in your bathroom or in your kitchen for your child to access that. So as we carry the glass pitcher, we want to uh, model how careful we are as we carry this. Now for this lesson, it's important that you let your child know that warm water cleans things better than cool water, so they're going to want to use their finger to test the water. Once again, it's important that we model carrying the glass pitcher, especially when it's full of water, carefully. Okay, we're going to pour our warm water into our container. So today I've chosen this tray for my house to scrub. Really anything in your house that you're okay with getting soap and water on it is something good for them to scrub. Okay, the first step is we get our, our brush here. Put a little bit wet on the water. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. Now I'm going to take my soap and hold it with this hand. I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner. And we always want to go left to right, top to bottom. As you notice that your brush begins to lose the suds, you can go ahead and repeat step one. Now that I've done the main part of my tray, I'm going to do the edges. Drip, 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 drip. 
Now I get to use my sponge. I'm going to take my clean sponge and dip it in. Let it soak up some water. And now I'm going to squeeze my sponge over the container until all of the drips come out. to wipe the suds off of my tray. Once again, top left hand corner. You want to make one swipe and clean it off. Squeeze until all of the drips come out. Shiny. I'm going to wipe the suds off the edges now. Now I'm going to rinse my sponge out so it's ready for the next friend. my dry rag to wipe all of the water off of my tray. Top to bottom, left to right. What a nice sparkling clean tray I have. Now I'm going to show you how to get the lesson ready for the next friend. Carefully carry it to the sink. Carry it back to the table and dry it out. I use my dry rag for this part. Thanks for watching this lesson on scrubbing today. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home.